All right, so I've gone through some of my pictures, and I think I've uh, learned a little bit more about parasites to take a guess at what some of these are. Uh, take a look at these pictures and uh, let me know, please, uh, your opinions out there, uh, parasite experts and um, nature watchers and stuff. Uh, okay, I got uh, an MRI scan. This is from uh, American Health Imaging, Birmingham, Alabama, May 15th, uh, MRI without contrast. So in this picture, so, okay, I went through all my pictures, and, you know, I look for weird stuff in the area where I have uh, uh, pain, basically. Weird stuff shows up, and uh, and there's weird uh, anomalous uh, uh, features and shapes they show up again and again across different types of images um, in the area where I have pain. All right, so this is a simple uh, uh, deduction and reasoning here. Uh, but please look at these and let me know your thoughts. Okay, the first shape that I noticed in these pictures, it looks like an M. Um, and I've seen this around where I live. It looks like the feet of an inchworm. Um, this is up near my brain. It's actually, uh, part of this thing looks like it's uh, in a space where I believe uh, there should be uh, nothing. Um, it's not an um, artery. So, okay, it looks like an M. I, I've looked at different uh, worms and stuff, eggs, larvae, and things like that. It may be the eggs of a tapeworm, but I'm not sure. It looks like the feet of some worm. All right, so this shows up in the image from May 15th, then you go to August uh, 15th, this is the uh, MRI without contrast uh, from Northside Medical, uh, St. Vincent's Primary Care, um, off of Deerfoot Parkway in Trustful. And um, something shows up here, uh, you can see that it looks like the tail of it is a, is a rectangle. Uh, kind of a divvied up rectangle. This is up near my brain in the same area also. On my brain there are, are two uh, blemishes that are also uh, square rectangle. That's uh, concerning. Um, so that's that's interesting. It's the same kind of shape. And then the next picture um, from August 15th you can see there's something up like hugging my brain in the very top of this image and you can make out uh, those there's three uh, legs or something and it looks like an M and it's up hugging my brain same type of shape very unusual uh, I don't know what this is uh, all right, next picture. This is from 3rd of August. Uh, this is a CT scan from St. Vincent's East Hospital, Birmingham, Alabama, Ascension Health. And in this picture, uh, this shows uh, about a three-inch long inchworm. I'm not sure. But check out the, the, the head of this thing is feeding on a place where I injured my, my, my neck, uh, my around my spinal uh, cord in between my vertebrae, I think. And um, the tail of this thing, it's rectangular also. Uh, in, this, in the central area of this thing, there's also some kind of rectangular shape. Okay, so what is this? Okay, next picture. This is from uh, Northside Medical on August 15th. This picture shows... Uh, the M shape again, and it's on the left side, uh, right where my where my uh, vertebrae uh, discs they lead up to my uh, my skull, and you can see this thing. It looks like an M again. Uh, very weird. It's an M. It's eggs. It's feet. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's it's there. Uh, I don't know if there's something that is off image this part of this thing or what all right this leads into the next uh, type of worm that I've learned about and this fasciola gigantica is uh, similar to a liver fluke uh, 
and it's on the right side of the same picture. And what it what it uh, looks like, uh, how you can identify this, there are three circles in a triangular shape. And, you know, I thought this thing looked like Metroid, but it's not. Okay, so you can see the same shape again in the x-ray uh, from 30th of May from uh, American Family Care, Roebuck, uh, Birmingham, AFC. All right, it's, it's up. I'll show the zoom. But, yeah, it's, it's up. You look at that video, you can see it very clearly. And it looks like a Metroid. It's three circles in a triangular formation. And I believe that's the uh, the signature of Fasciola Gigantica. It's uh, similar to a liver fluke. Now here's my x-ray, my original x-ray from St. Vincent's East Hospital, Birmingham, Alabama. Ascension Health on 23rd of August, 2008. And you can see in this x-ray... Uh, without contrast, there's another, uh, it's a triangular formation of three circles, dark enough uh, to show up on an x-ray. It's some type of thick um, tissue or mass, I believe. All right, so, okay, there's one other kind of worm that we'll talk about here. I believe these are nematodes, and they show up in a few pictures. Uh, this is the uh, Northside Medical MRI without contrast. These are roundworm. And then, okay, you got this uh, nest thing. I don't know what this is either. Um, is there infection around this? One picture, it looks like a giant cockroach. I don't think that's what this is. And in the next picture, it looks like a um, some kind of eggplant. And again, I mean, all these things... I've found, uh, after the fact, uh, none of the radiologists and doctors who uh, looked at any of these images were able to identify any of these things. Uh, I went in reporting pain. Uh, their diagnosis uh, didn't sit well with me as far as addressing uh, the cause of that pain. Um, I have no idea what I was feeling, but uh, yeah, you go back to these pictures and look in the area where there's a lot of pain, you can see there's something there, uh, what's going on.